All right, guys, it is uh, Sunday, the day after the wedding. We are newlyweds. Hello. Hey. <laughs> newlyweds. We did not go on a honeymoon just yet. We had, uh, I guess it's our honeymoon. When we pulled up, the landowner said, is this the honeymoon? <laughs> yeah, we picked trapping again. But so any which way, as we start again, you can thank us right now. I'll give you a moment. Thank you. Congratulate us. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Ellis. Hit it with your way. What we have here is we got a uh, house right there. The hogs have come in and root up the yard. I'm not sure if you can see it from here. The grass has done kind of growed up uh, and whatnot, but the, the hogs have come in and rooted up. So what we're going to do is set this trap up and see if we can't catch them. We come in today because the rain's coming in this week, and I didn't want to uh, be doing it in the rain. So any which way, uh, we're going to get started. Got the trap and uh, see if we can't get it done. Y'all stick with us and we'll be right back with you. Okay, doggy. We got power, service, and carrier, and everything's back up. So, and hose will lock up the gate on a tailgate. <laughs> yeah, I've been a mess. Yeah, like I feel like I've been a rookie. I bring her out here, I was like, oh, baby, won't take no life, won't take no time. I feel like a rookie. Anyway, we got it set up. So now we just got a catch. Got a little storm coming in tonight or in the morning. See how it goes. <laughs> oh, a lot of help. That wheel done picked up. Super fine. You're a great super fine. Man, hose, guys. So, we ready. We'll see y'all later. All right, guys, headed home. Just got done watching Harlow play some baseball over at Heritage Academy. It was his last junior high baseball game of this year. We still have a few high school baseball games left, but uh, other than that, we headed home, headed to see my baby, my new wife, come on. But any which way, while I drive home and get ready for what's going on for the rest of the night, y'all watch Harlow and uh, Watch him pitch anyway and see how he did for his last home game. Proud of you, son. Proud of you.
Uy. In the world. Oh, I got one. I got an extra one. Get away. All right, guys. Let's review what we just saw. Okay. So let me pause this. All right. So basically, what you just saw was okay. First of all, there is a pig in the back right there, right? I've already had been watching that pig before with the footage you just saw of the drop. That pig would not come in. It actually come up a few times and just runs and spooks. Uh, I watched these pigs the night before and couldn't get in that same pig would not come in. So this is the second night. We said this Sunday. Today is Tuesday. So Sunday night and Tuesday, Sunday night and Monday night. Uh, I did not try to catch Monday night. And Monday night, I, uh, is that right? Sunday night? Today's Monday night. That's second night. Second night, I don't catch night. Any which way. Uh, today, no, today's Wednesday. Yes. So, man, I am so far behind. But which way, it's review. <laughs> Two nights I did not catch, but I went for, uh, so. Anyway, I don't know what happened here, but you can see, let's watch the drop. I'm going to hit the play button. Uh, let's review what happened. Uh, as you can see, boom, and then pause, Okay. Uh, there was a small pig that was, must have been not in the trap. It just took off. So that's two That's two pigs I did not catch, right? Okay. I don't know what's going on right here. Watch this. Okay. Uh, there went a pig. Don't know where that pig come from. And then two pigs just jump out right there. And then here comes, watch this right here. Watch this. I don't know what this is all about. It just squeezes out. And he is gone. I don't, I don't know what happened there. I, I really don't. So, uh, we got to figure out. I don't know if I got a hole in the fence there. Uh, or if, it, if there's a gap up on there. I don't know. I, I just don't know. So, we got to figure that part out. But, that being said, uh, let's go for a live look in and see what it looks like this morning. It is like 5.30 in the morning right now. So, uh, looks like we still got Actually, it looks like we got a little rain in the forecast there, but we still got hogs in the thing. This is, in, like I said, this is somebody's yard right here. That's their house right there. You see my finger? You can see those little flashing dots to the right right there? See if it shows it. Can you see that on the camera? You see those little flashing dots? That's the highway. So, anyway, there's cars going up down the highway. So, anyway, we got pigs in there. Looks like we're fighting a little rain, but any hoes, let's get ready to go. That's a review. Let's go figure out what the problem is. Figure how we can fix it or not fix it. I don't know. Oh, it's this little rain this morning. The wind too. Well, should I take Toyota? I'm trying to, I, I'm trying to decide if I should take the Toyota. I'm gonna be going to that man's yard. Toyota's lighter. Uh, all my stuff's in the other truck. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're pulling up in a little neighborhood right here. We actually, this is the reason I brought my Toyota was because I actually got to get off in this man's yard a little bit, and I didn't want to be trying to rut it up too much. Oh. Let's slip this over in the forward drive just so it'll help pull a little bit easier. You know, I gotta go through this pasture, but I think I can go and hook up my trailer and pull over there without the hogs seeing me just yet. Because they're right on the hogs right on the other side of I guess that brush down there. We'll get hooked up, so anyway, and that's the house right up there that they're sitting in. You know, they're within a hundred, what, 120 yards or so? Can't really see very well. I'll slide it over, ain't no big deal. Let me get this hooked up and I'll be right back. I got the trailer hooked up. Let's go right here and see if we caught a few hogs. And <laughs> hopefully no more got out. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know if I had a hole inside that thing or they was getting up under that gap. I don't really know. I can see down there, but anyway, like I said, that's the house. The house right there. Hey, you're gonna rip up your yard right here. We're gonna use up here to see. I'm gonna pull to that side. I'm gonna try to pull to that side that uh, they were on. 
they were coming out. I mean, that home was coming. Oh, I see why. There's a gap where the pig got caught. That's how they were getting out. Ah, see now. I'll just pull it aside and uh, keep them right there. That's what I do. I see now. That's I was wondering how they get out. And, Alright. They didn't take care of it. I was wondering exactly how it was. Golly. Anyway, we got a load of them, but I feel like somebody got away. <laughs> no, maybe that's the one in the back right there is the bigger one. I thought there was like one mama. But anyway, I don't know. We got a lot of them, so that's good. That's good. All right, y'all seen them? Let me get this dude drug out and I'll figure out what's going on with all this. But now I see how, now I see how they got out. And uh, we'll figure out if I get something knocked down. I think that one right there in the back. Call it a we'll see. So I'm gonna shoot you, this might end up being a, yeah, let me make sure, yeah. I might, this might end up being a black and white video, <laughs> but I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, it's a little massacre, but I just want to show you real quick. This is how those pigs got out. Now those little, it was those little pigs, like, like that right, there, like those little pigs, like right there on the inside. You can't really tell because so much mud. This dude got smashed, so they had just enough gap that I guess they were just wide, just wide open and pushed up through there. So that's what happened there. He almost got away, but we got 17, I think. So 17 pigs in the yard. That's your yard right there. Uh, Right there, he's coming. He said he just got out of the shower. He's going to come over here try to bring me some gloves. But anyway, 17 pigs caught right here in the yard. Should have been, I mean, we got away three. Should have been at least 20, 21. It was one big, one bigger pig that would not go in that trap. So, ugh, I hate it, but it is what it is. So, let's get to work, boys. Got things to do. I'm off. And so is my wife. <laughs> I'm backing this trailer up. Realize I left my drink on the side right there. Does that make you a smooth operator if it don't fall off? Why am I just smooth anyway? <laughs> ah. Toe. Me and my girl's trying to go out town, maybe for the weekend, kind of like a little short honeymoon. We didn't have nothing planned, you know. Ugh. We don't know. Ugh. All I know is I'm happy to be married. I love her. Getting nasty, I'm glad I told him about Yoda. Getting heartburn. Get a little heartburn there. I'm just hooking them on. That's a little nasty thing right there. 
and 17 pigs up in your front yard. See if I had to pocket drag, wouldn't have done that. Oh, <laughs> that's I ain't much of a man, but what man I am, I'm giving it all I can. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. Seventeen. It's seventeen. I'm a 17 boy. That's it, boy. That's it. Whew, 17 feet. Let me take a break, and I'll be right back with you. You know what we do? small it wasn't but one big uh one bigger pig in that group so what happened is like i caught see, caught 21 but one pig got caught up under the trap so four little ones by this big got out they slid i couldn't figure i thought i, had a hole, I, thought I had a hole in the, in the side over there or something yeah. but anyway and that one got out too no, the one that smashed on, it, it, it lived because he, he was one of those bigger hogs. Okay. Uh, I say he lived, I mean, he lived till I got here. <laughs> so, but uh, anyway, it was 17. I waited for two days waiting on that big one to go in. She wouldn't go in there. They kept, they all kept coming, but I was waiting on that big one. So finally, uh, me and my wife plan on going out of town tomorrow. So I was like, well, let me go and catch what I can. I still would have had 21. Yeah, we'll just leave it like it is. It's got corn there. They can smell through that mud. If those little ones come back, I'll drop on them, but it ain't, I mean, it ain't no, uh, it may have spooked them enough to go on, you know. There, there was a little one, like them throwing up little ones. Like that right there, a little runt, is what they would. Yeah, yeah, but well, they gonna love these. I've already got these, uh, like yeah, I moved to Madison, Mississippi, so, uh, got married Saturday, and, uh, Brought her over here. To, <laughs> brought her over here you to did help. Well, you did well. <laughs> you did well. You yeah. Way out above your face. <laughs> That's what everybody says. Everybody says, "Boy, I told him I prayed for pretty and not too loud, and I got it." I don't know what you prayed for, but it's what she got. <laughs> and there you have it. Seventeen pig loaded on a trailer. Finna make a phone call. Tell him I'm on the way. Get the skin and knives ready, get the processing ready. I'm actually gonna put a link uh, in the description of this video. If you've made it this far, uh, you can help out with the processing fees on some of this. If not, if it's not for you, don't worry about it. It's okay. But if it's, we just started the, or ended this uh, knocking head feeding family program right here in uh, somebody's yard. But any which way, do not forget, today's sponsor is brought to you by Lucky Buck Mineral and Light Boots have been a game changer for me considering you know just like it rained this morning i'm always leaving my boots in the back of the truck as you can see right there all you got to do run your towel or rag in there wipe them out put your foot right back in them ain't no wait until they dry out thank you light boots thank you lucky buck mineral any which way i'm on gotta take my girl to somewhere for a honeymoon i don't know where it might just be to another pig job, but we're gonna try to do something special. Got to spend a little time. There is a pig trapper from North Mississippi married to a princess who owns the Piggly Wiggly in Matthew, Mississippi. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you.